I've been in the country now since 81, right? Right. I was put into deportation status, but it was waived. Okay. Did you get it? No, did you get it? To- I can file for my citizenship without any problem. Okay. It depends what the criminal conviction was for. Say that again? What, what, I assume you're in deportation because of a criminal conviction. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. Correct. What was, if you don't mind sharing, what was the criminal conviction for? It was a seal indictment. Was a seal? Okay. What was it? Drugs? Was it guns? Was it? Was it? Okay. And was it a? What? What year did this conviction happen in? It happened in ninety three. Nineteen ninety three. Was it a conspiracy to distribute, or was it a possession that you ultimately pled guilty to? Not to distribute. Um, distribute. Okay. So unfortunately, even though you got it, was probably got a two twelve C waiver, you would not be eligible for citizenship because. Even though you got the waiver, you still ha- are an aggravated felon. You still have an aggravated felony. I wasn't charged with a felon. I wasn't charged with a felony. I was charged with a misdemeanor. It got dropped to a misdemeanor. Okay, so you didn't plead guilty to distribution of drugs then, because distribution of drugs is is, is a felony. Uh, so all right, all right. So ultimately. If you if you are not an aggravated felon, you can you can file for your citizenship. If you are an aggravated felon, any aggravated felon after November seventeenth, nineteen ninety, cannot file for their citizenship, even though they got a waiver in deportation. So it comes down to whether it, it, right. Okay, okay. It, 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 I was released on my and everything. Okay, so then it sounds like most likely mo- most likely you're not an aggravated you're not an aggravated felon because there are some misdemeanors that are aggravated felonies for immigration purposes but most likely you're not and assuming you're not then yes you can file for your citizenship if you are then you can't I mean and 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 it really comes down to what you pled guilty to and what is the classification of the crime that you pled guilty to is it is it a crime of moral turpitude under the Immigration and Nationality Act or is it an aggravated felony under the Immigration and Nationality Act uh, you know the best you know it sounds like to me based on what you're telling me it would would be a crime of moral turpitude, but we have to see 100%. So I think the first step would be make an appointment to come see me and bring in your disposition because uh, my consultation fee is only $60. So for $60 between now and November 23rd, I'll I'll let you know 100% whether or not you can be a citizen. And then you'll make a decision whether you want to do it on your own or you want to uh, you want me to help you. Even if you want to do it on your own, Okay. Okay. Fine. 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 Now, sometimes, sometimes people just want to call and get an answer and say thanks. I'll I'll do it my own, and that's perfectly fine. But if if you want me to help you, I think the first step is when you make an appointment, bring your disposition with you. But it sounds it sounds like it sounds like it, it sounds like you're going to be okay. But I want to be 100 percent sure.